Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino. I'm Adam and this is Twyla. And we are off to Wodonga. I was about to say Albury, but I suppose it's the same thing, Albury, Wodonga. So we're actually going up to see the Caravan Camping Show, but you would have seen that on last week's episode. So this is the episode about us actually going there and seeing what else we get up to while we're there. Hey Adam. Yeah, so it's going to be a weekend of sun. As you can see, it's quite bright. Uh, but weather's on our side this weekend, so it should be good. Lady Luxury. Hey. Big Four Borderline. <laughs> borderline. <laughs> no. So Big Four Borderland. We're here now. Um, oh, look at this map. It's huge. It's basically a straight runway all the way wow, through. Wow, where we are. Oh, so we're literally going straight, straight through the gates. All the way to the end. Because we've got an un unpowered site and then we can, it's free for all. So let's hopefully we get a good spot. Hey. Oh, there's a dog run. Oh, cool. In the corner. Dog friendly. We like that. Where's the bathrooms and stuff? All right. Well, anyway, let's head in. Is there a number for the gate? Yeah. All right. So we've got our spot. Now, it took us a little bit to get our spot because I had to go out and test the ground because obviously we, you know, if you watch us all the time, you know, we get bulked all the time. So <laughs> I want to make sure the ground wasn't too wet. <laughs> Adam's laughing. But we did find... It's true. <laughs> it is true. Uh, we with the bulk kings. That sounds terrible. But anyway... <laughs> Gosh. But anyway, we've found a spot that's dry. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get out of here tomorrow. We're going to be leaving pretty early to go to the to the show tomorrow. So, <laughs> but anyway, uh, we found a spot. So now it's time. The next thing we're going to do is feed Twyla. So Twyla's getting fed, and then it's time to cook our dinner. So what's on the menu for Twyla tonight? Oh, she's got a. She's got a. She's got a. What's the word for it? <laughs> A triple, a triple dish. A triple dish. Dry Ooh. kibble, dry kibble. Some sweet, uh, sweet potato and carrot that's yes. been um, boiled and mashed. Yes. And some wet dog food. And wet dog food. Oh, Twyla. Oh. Okay, look at her. She is so hungry. Oh, you want dinner? Okay, here you All go. Right. Him up. There she goes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's like nearly two hours past the dinner time. Yeah, so, I know. <laughs> yeah. She's only it's a lot earlier than this. Well, she always eats a lot earlier than us, anyway. But um. I reckon the TV, I'm going to put the TV on now. I've got a feeling that won't need the aerial going up tonight. But if it does, I'll put that up. Um, and then we're going to have, what are we having tonight? We're having, we're having sausage sausages. chisel. Yeah. I'm yeah. so excited. Yum. It's just simple. Simple. Because... It's like 8 o'clock or something. Yeah, it's 8 o'clock. Yeah. Well, good. The only, yeah. thing, the only thing we ate on the way up here, really, was some shapes to keep us going. But besides that... We haven't really eaten anything, so got some bread, got some onion, Adam's gonna grate some cheese, cheese and we've got some um and four sausages. So <laughs> that's it, that's our dinner. Oh, and what did you get for dessert, Adam? Um well your surprise. I'll be surprised I'll be surprised I would be shocked. I mean I wouldn't be shocked oh, I've one. if there had already been missing. Yeah. He got his stuff. But they're only twenty grams each. Yeah, that's all right. I got yeah, you but three a Mars of them. bar used to be sixty grams back in the day. Oh, did it? Oh, that's how much of an expert you are Sorry. at this subject. Anyway, yeah. all right, let me get the <laughs> cooker out and let's get this going. Twyla, Twyla finished her dinner. Now it's time to get her a treat. She saw me pick up her bag and she goes crazy because she knows there's treats in there. Look at her. <laughs> it's a treat bag, isn't it, Adam? Yes. <laughs> but I'll give her something small. Yeah. Okay. So, so something a tiny. Tea cleaner. Tea tree. There you are. Oh, that's not her favourite. No, but that's okay. That'll do. There you are. Okay. Well, off she goes. She's happy.
distributed across the country. More than 1.8 tonnes has been found in shipments that arrived. Well, we've just had dinner. Now we're going to take this one for her nightly walk. We'll see how she goes. It's probably a little bit early, actually. We normally take her about 11 o'clock. But we'll see how she goes. Hopefully she'll go to the toilet and then we can settle in for the night and go to bed. Ooh. Well, it's come to that part of the night. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, Twyla. Good night, Adam. Good night. <laughs> So I'm up and I'm showered. Now I'm gonna take Twyla for her morning walk. Listen to all those um, birds. So we'll just take Twyla for a walk and then um, have her little toilet run. And then I'll show you guys around the park. All right, welcome to the Big Four Borderland Holiday Park. Let's go inside and check out their accommodation and the facilities. So we're about to head off to the show. That was a park. I hope you've enjoyed it. But I'm just on the way back to the van and check this bus out. It is absolutely huge. It's even got a pop out on the other side. But look how massive that is. Imagine traveling around Australia in that. That'd be so cool. Imagine King Dino's adventures in that. How awesome. So we've just arrived to the Caravan Camping Expo. Is that right? It is. Yeah. <laughs> And um, we're just in the car park. We're going to have some breakfast. Adam's just taken. Twyla's really excited. She can't wait. She's going for a walk. To, um, she just wants to go for a walk. So Adam's going to go out there and I'm going to get our breakfast ready. So we thought we wanted to cook something quite easy before we head into the show. So we've got, we're doing these, what we did with Monica when we went away with her. Quesadillas. And um, we just got some, Adam's cut up some cheese for himself. I've got a different kind of cheese, and then we've just got some ham over here. So we've got some ham. So we're just going to quickly cook those up, eat them, and then head on into the show. Adam's just whipping up some coffees. So this is how they look. We just put that in there. We've got the cheese and the ham inside. Just cooking that up. And um, we're definitely getting um, lots of people looking at us, aren't they? Well, when, yeah. well Twyla's barking we, we, at some. We're inviting att att attention to well, it's a good way to get prom promotion. <laughs> that was my fault. Yeah, free, free promotional. We're getting, we're showing everyone how you can live in your van and cooking it. See, it's a live, it's a live show. <laughs> anyway, I better get these cooked. Yum. How is it, Adam? <laughs> Tastes good. Yeah. They always taste so good, don't they? <laughs> But it's usually what's in the fridge. So yeah. We had some cheese given to us from some friends from work. Um, so we're using that. And we had some ham that's got to go, well, we've got a whole pack of ham that has to be eaten in the next week. So yeah. we normally use salami for this, like a suppressor or something, but um, just ham. So it still tastes yeah. good. Yeah, good. And Twyla's liking a bit of the, um, the tortilla bread. Oh, yes. Spoiled little girl. Yeah. <laughs> she enjoyed the sun. Mm. All right, well, it's time to head on in to the show. Now, 
we will show you a few little clips in this episode but if you want to see the full episode of us going around the show make sure you go back we'll link it in at the end but make sure you go check out last week's episode which we take you around the whole park and show you some some highlights of some different vans rvs and a couple of caravans all right so, so more detailed yeah more detailed version so we'll, we'll link it in the end so you can just tap that after this video and you'll see the whole thing but otherwise we're going to head in now and then we'll see you on the other side Well, we've just finished at the show and that was fantastic. Really enjoy those shows, you get to see so much. Now again, if you wanna check out the episode, it's last week's episode to see what happened in there. But um, we just gave you a little glimpse of it. Um, we'll make sure we whack it on the end of this episode so you can see it. But anyway, if you haven't already. But now we're heading back to the van. We had something light to eat inside. Now we're gonna head out and find something for a late lunch and uh, hope we can get something yummy somewhere. So maybe some local pub, hopefully. Gotta, yeah, yeah jump local pub. And Google it, possibly. Yeah. So anyway, we'll head out now. We're just heading back to the van. Oh look, we're walking back and someone else has done what we've done and brought their van. There you go. It's a good way to do it because if you can bring your van, if you've got a van you can bring, you have breakfast in the morning before you go in and then head into the show. So we've just rocked up at the Good Shed, we've just ordered some meals. Um, this place is at the old train station, they've converted it all and they've got restaurants here. And they've got some really nice um, areas over there where you can sit with tables and chairs and have lunch. And also, we made a friend, and also they um, have a few different um, little pop-up kind of Oh, they're not pop ups, they're permanent, but little like a coffee shop, an ice cream shop. And the day we're having today, I'm actually shocked because uh, we're so used to cold weather lately, and they've really put the weather on for us because it's absolutely beautiful. Check it out, it's so sunny. We're under the shade, it's we thought after walking that sun for a while, we'd better get out of the sun, but anyway, let's see what kind of yeah. Well, I was, I was thinking once we go back to the caravan park. I may hop in the pool. We'll see. We'll see if my tune, tune, change, the tune changes after we so have some to eat. Hey, what are you doing? Stealing my chips. <laughs> what did you get? It looks real. Is it? Are they? Hey, let me some. I want to taste them. Yum. Anyway. What did you, oh now I can't ask you a question. Mm. <laughs> mm. I was gonna ask you what this burger is. It looks absolutely beautiful. Now I'm a bit jealous I didn't get it. Um, it's a hot chicken burger. A hot chicken burger. And you can get it at three different temperatures. I actually ended up going the lighter, like the lower temperature for Adam because I was a bit worried it was gonna be too hot for him. Oh wow, it looks so good. And um, and then I've just got the 
like your typical burger, but it still looks amazing. And I've added the chips on. Yummo! So anyway, we might get this into us. Oh, and I've got a beer. Cheers! Well, that's how good we thought the meal was. It's all gone. Adam? It's nice nearly gone. It was too much for me. No, it's good. It was nice. Yeah, now the um, chicken burger. Was, it was. I got the medium level heat um, yeah. of the hot chick burger. Yeah. Um, but I think it was perfect. Awesome. Mm. And mine was delicious. So I really enjoyed my burger. And now I'm just gonna finish my beer, and then we're gonna go find something to do. Cheers. So also you got gum tree pies. They're here, and they look like they're in an old train carriage, and you can sit inside. So that's pretty cool. Um, Adam's actually thinking about going to get a milkshake. And then uh, that's where we just ate. And then over here you got a cafe as well. Um, I think it's Bean, Bean Station um, there. So if you want to come for a coffee. And yeah, so there's a few things down here. <clears throat> and here they're actually selling apartments, which they're going to be building here somewhere. But anyway, let's go see if Adam decided on a thick shake or milkshake. You getting a milkshake? No, or? I'm going to be good. Aren't you full up that burger? That was huge. <laughs> I was thinking about more about being good. But yeah. oh. <laughs> so one minute from where we were not getting a milkshake, now we're at an ice cream shop and uh, Adam's ordering an ice cream. And not just for him, but one for Twyla. But he'll tell you a bit about that in a second. So, um, what have you got? <laughs> it's a big shake. But also, and? Twyla's got a, a, um, a dog gelato. Dog gelato? Yes. Ooh, baby, go get your own treat. All right, well. Yeah. <laughs> want some Twyla? Can they give you a spoon to give her, or she just eat it out of there? She looks that big. Oh, okay. I think she does. Actually, no, she'll get a spoon. She'll get a spoon. I don't know. Give it to her in the sea, and yeah, if Twyla. not, we'll get a spoon. Yeah, put a lick. Oh. Well, it looks like she's enjoying it. You <laughs> think she froze an ice cream? Yeah. Well, Twyla definitely liked her ice cream. I don't well, think it's her ice cream. It's yeah. a dog gelato, so it's actually yeah. hers. Um, and um, and what do you get again? Pistachio thick shakes really nice too. Mmm, looks good. It's not too um, it's not too heavy. Yeah, and it's a good size. It's not too much either. So. Oh, good ice. Yeah. So we've ended up coming down to Balville Balve, Balve Park. I think that's how you say it. But um, there's a heaps of play equipment down here for kids. There's a walking track. There's a dog park, and even just behind me. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But there's a pizza oven. A pizza oven. Since when have I seen a pizza oven in a park? Anyway, what do you know? So anyway, we're going to take um, uh, Twyla to the doggy park. And um, there's even a lake here, so we're going to walk around the lake. So we're back at the caravan park. Now a couple of things I've just noticed. Look at that mud on the, the wheel there. That was from last, a few episodes ago where we... <laughs> it wasn't a few, was it? Yeah, two, two episodes it? ago where we got bolt and we still uh, haven't washed it. Maybe that's what we could do tomorrow. Go wash the van. Actually, I was going to suggest... That Wouldn't that make yeah. for exciting YouTube? There is some. Um, I'm sure it would be thrilling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so now also yeah, you will awesome. notice that yeah. we're on a slab. Yeah. We have upgraded. So tonight we are on a powered site. We yeah, decided to upgrade. Big four for this up. Yeah. We actually were on the, the grass. But because we could, there is forecast of rain late tonight and we're just wondering, well, worried. We may get bogged during the night trying to get out in the morning. But I'm going to send that the upgrades for free. Give us this. Yeah, so that was really nice of them. Um, so 
so it didn't get bogged. So yeah, so we've got this really nice site and um, yeah, we're just going to sit down and enjoy it. It's well Do you want dinner? Do you want dinner? Huh? Want you dinner? It's a tilt your head magic word. Do you want dinner? Huh? Do you want dinner? <laughs> okay, it'll come. I'll feed you now. Time for dinner. <laughs> so it's just gotten a little bit colder. The night air's coming in. So we're trialling our heater for the very first time, really, isn't it? Properly. What's up? It's the first time we're using this for first properly. Hey. Year for us, yeah. Because we've never been outside and had to use I it. Can feel the heat from here, so, that's good. so Adam, I'm letting Adam have it because I don't really feel the cold as much as what Adam does. But what do you think, Adam? <laughs> well, we can't have a fire. Well, I was going to say something better. Like <laughs> Adam, I hope you're not being naughty. No. <laughs> but um, one thing I did want to say is we've had we've had a fair we've few. Four, <laughs> four couples now approach us today. Yeah, so at the show and um, here at the caravan park, we've had people have noticed our signage and come over and said hi. So thanks everyone for coming up and saying hi. And there's been a couple of people being a little bit embarrassed when they've come up, but they've gotten through it. We don't bite. <laughs> no, it's just been great to meet some really nice people that watch us and follow us every week and, um, and some that don't follow us every week. <laughs> I shouldn't give ourselves that big of brownie points. But um, that was nice to meet him, wasn't it? Mm, yeah, it was. Yeah, it's been great. It's been yeah, nice actually meeting some people today and having a chat to them and just see how they got into the whole... Um, Fan life not, experience. Not always, not, yeah, I mean, not even just fans, but also caravans and camping and the whole outdoor... Um, yeah, the couple. Experience. one of the couples we met today, they had the... Like my dad's van. They, they had, had a the, Swift. A they Swift. A Jayco, was it Jayco, Jayco Swift. Swift. Mm. Yep, but they're looking to upgrading that to something else. And that's why they'll let the show. Um, and then we met the, the two guys we met tonight. They both own a... So they've got... So that was Chris and Anthony. Yep. And um, so they've got a, uh, some Sprinters. Yep. Some Mercedes Sprinter vans. Yeah. Yep. So anyway, we're going to go inside soon and cook dinner. But we thought we'd just sit outside and enjoy the night a little bit. Yeah. And um, Adam's going to test his heat, and we'll let, we'll find out later what he, how long no, he lasted it's, outside. I'm not sure already. No, it's warm. It's yeah, warm. it is good. Yeah. Okay, but you can't use this indoors. Remember, no, there's a warning. Let me put the warning on. Danger, danger. <laughs> not inside. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're heading inside now. Can make some dinner. But Twyla, <laughs> we could buy candlelight. She's in her basket. And Adam's wrapped her up like a little hot dog, and she doesn't even care. Do you care, baby girl? No. Nah, she's she's all happy. All right, let's go inside. All right, Adam hit his cold limit. That was it for the night. We're inside now, but because of the upgrade, we well, do have I'm heating. Also getting a little bit peckish. Oh, oh, okay. I, I was. Yeah, would you rather me eat my chopper chop show bag or we have dinner? Well, yes, I'd prefer to have dinner than so eating chopper chop show bag. But anyway, so tonight, Adam, are you going to sing the song? Can you sing the song? Come on, you can do it. What do we happen tonight? Can I mime it? Go on. Chicken tonight. That's it. That's and it. that was really crap. There was, a bit of, there was a bit of a ring to my voice. Oh, that was really crap. Chicken tonight, oh, my chicken I don't, tonight. I don't, I don't do the dancing on YouTube and singing. Oh, okay, yeah. I'd hate. I'd hate to be exciting. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so tonight we, we don't make, have you make up for both. You make up for both of us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I do, but. Tonight, we're not having chicken tonight, but we are having chicken tonight. It's... <laughs> yeah, you're right. Because <laughs> we're having beef, onion, noodles. Now, this is a quick van life recipe. So, we're not... This weekend, we're doing real life van life meals. Meals that you can do on the road. Quick, easy, fun, fast, tasty. Nothing fancy in a, you know, over a, over a um, fire. We're over a stove. <laughs> so basically all we've done is Adam's cut up onion. We've got cut up some beef. We've got some stir fried veggies there. We've got some noodles, hocking noodles in um, in water at the moment cooking. And then we've just gone and got this. Now there is another one I really like besides this one, um, but I could not find it where I was shopping. So we end up with chicken tonight. If you do get this one, I didn't bring it with me, but I recommend adding some peanut butter to it just to give it that extra bit of peanut butter taste. 
But anyway, this is actually um, cashew. But uh, yeah, so it might be good, but we'll taste it and we'll see. All right, well, we're halfway there. We've just boiled the water. We've got the noodles on. Oh. Just started. We're, just, <laughs> We're not even halfway. <laughs> well, it doesn't uh, take long. Ten minutes, okay. we'll be done. Ten minutes. I'm trying to make some space. All right. So first, we're just throwing in the onion. We're going to cook that up super quick, and then we'll put in the meat next. Oh my god, Adam! <laughs> it's not the prettiest photo. <laughs> He's doing the noodle test. Are they ready? Yeah, they're ready. Wow. I don't know. Um, People, we might have to put a warning up before that. That scene. Sorry guys, bad angle. Bad angle. <laughs> <laughs> so dishes wise, this is a one pot, one bowl wonder. Pretty much, in a sense. Yeah. Um, and then we'll use this container for the veggies because we took some frozen veggies from the from home. And then we'll use this just to store the excess. Yeah, because we're going to have extra over. leftover. It'll be too much for tonight. Yeah. We'll take it home and eat it. Well, the TV's on, and guess what? We're watching Star Wars tonight, so I'm happy. Adam's not. Yay! So Adam's just going to put half the sauce in now. We're going to mix that through, get the veggies cooked, and then we'll put the next lot in. And then it's going to be very peanut buttery. Is it? I was cashew. Oh, cashew, same thing, same, same. I was so wrong, wasn't I? Yeah. Oh, the news is on. In goes some of the noodles. We're just gonna chuck half in, because it's only a small pot. You wanna probably chuck in half the noodles, give it a stir around, get the sauce in there. Then we'll add the rest of the sauce and the rest of the noodles. Now, just add a little bit of water to the last bit, obviously, to get that last bit of goodness out. And I'm just popping that in, and that's it. So we're just going to cook this a bit longer and then we're ready for dinner. Just to give it a bit of bite, we'll just add a bit of chilli flakes. Yum. So I've added a fair few extra chilli flakes. Adam's about to get into his and you know who the star who <laughs> always is in the shot when we're eating. Good old Twyla. <laughs> and I think I've won. I think we're watching Star Wars tonight. I'm so excited. Are we watching Star Wars tonight? Well, what else is on? No, I want to watch Star Wars. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get our noodles now. And hopefully we watch Star Wars. Well, twelve has been for a morning walk. Adam's in the shower. We are up and ready to go. Before we head off, it's my job to cook breakfast. So let's do this. Easy. Same as yesterday. We're just having our tortillas. Yummo. So let's get these into us and then hit the road. Yum. Any before. And if hand, being a Sunday, there's a handful of things closed, unfortunately. Yeah. Which we wanted to do. I wanted to go to the Army Museum, which looked really cool. But anyway, so we're going to head across now. Actually, to... maybe you can first check out the Immigration, the oh, immigration yeah, yeah. Museum. Yeah, true. Um, That's on this side. And it says that 20% of a... Oh, one, of, one in every 20 Australians, I think it is, or 20% one or the other. Have a connection. Have a connection to this place. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. All right, well, we'll go see if that's open. Anyway, let's hit the road and go see what's going on today in Albury and Madonga. We finally made it to something to do and um so this is the walk can you pronounce that adam yindi yamara sculpture walk yes yeah, sculpture walk this is the track and hopefully it's not flooded and um so that's the first sculpture 
over there and then we've got a road close sign so I don't even know how far we're gonna get it does say road close but we're not children so we're not sure we'll be right we'll be able to tell if it's gonna be dangerous yeah <laughs> as Adam laughs all right let's see how far we go and how many sculptures we can see but yeah like I was saying this is the first one and this walk is along the Murray so and as you can see because New South Wales had so much rain check this out it is absolutely flooded and I think that's why this is actually closed oh I can see up there already I don't think we're gonna get far wow so we've made it to our second sculpture. This is it here. But I got a feeling this might be the last one. <laughs> yeah. And look how beautiful this looks. But um, as you can see up in front, uh, we've got water coming up, I think. And I think the path just stops there. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That was the quickest walk we've ever done, wasn't it? We've yeah. got to see two sculptures. And it's now finished. Yep. Uh, Done. Head all right. To the van. On to the next. Well, we're not having much of a much of a. Um, we're just not having luck this trip, are we? This weekend, just not really being eventful. No. So, so we're gonna we're gonna go, we go for a swim. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Twyla. End of our walk. It's all flooded. So we've just arrived to the Hewn Dam. We're just at the bottom of it. I wanted to come here. Last time I was in, we, I did actually do the video when I was working here. And I came down here to see, we're just going to head out there and have a look. Um, but we could walk out further last time. But this time, um, because the water's so high, I might not be able to get a really good view. But anyway, we'll check it out. And uh, yeah, I thought Adam might like to see this. But we have stayed here before, but we stayed on the other side, Lake oh. Hume. Oh, the caravan park yeah. there, which was really cool. And that's actually a really good park to stay at. It was a really nice view of the lake. Um, so you can check out that episode. Yeah, that's in our New South Wales videos. And also, uh, they had an awesome pool, mm. which you could watch the sunset in, which was nice. All right, let's get out and have a look. There you have it. That is all the water coming down. Woo! Birds flying around. On the New South Wales side, there is a lookout over there that you can check out, and you can normally walk right across there, which I've done in another episode. So, yeah, you can check it out. Do you like this spot, Adam? Do you like this spot? It's better on the other side. You reckon it's better from the other side? Yeah, than the view? yeah I was just saying how. We've been across there, and we've looked at it from the other side. But um, it's definitely worth coming to look at if you're in Albury, Wodonga. Um, definitely come down and check this out. And go to the other side. Make sure you go to the other side. All right, well, let's see what else we can go look at. Adam, where are we going next? <laughs> we don't even know, do we? A bakery. You wanna to go to a bakery now? We need a coffee. Not for lunch? Okay, all right, we'll go find a bakery. We don't know if we can get in here yet. Well, well, it says open, but we've got Twyla, so that's going to be another story. So we'll see how we go. Wow, well, we've got some good news for once. It's open today and it's um, dog friendly, and these are the times and all the rest of it. What's So, where actually are we? So, we know. are in, was it Albury? Wodonga. Wodonga ish. Or in Victoria. Wodonga. But it's the Bonjola, Bonjola, yeah. bon, oh, bon, I'm going to get it wrong, Bonjola Migrant Experience. So it's got one in every, one in 20 Australians have got links to this place, whether it's for their grandparents or uncles, aunties. When you had the migrants coming over many, many years ago. I think yeah. in the, maybe in the, well, from the, I don't know, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, right. 60s. Well, let's, so let's, we're going to go and learn about it. But you can bring your dog here. Yeah. Great. Obviously right. on a lead. Yeah. Um, so yeah, something we can do today. 
perfect. So Block 19 was part of Australia's largest and longest operating migrant reception and training centre. So from the 1947 to 71, over 300,000 people spent time here awaiting employment, learning English. Uh, and this place represents the shift of Australia's immigration that enabled thousands of non-English speaking Europeans to dis who were displaced by war to migrate to Australia. Oh, cool. Well, yeah. let's head on in. Built as a military camp in the 1940s. Mm -hmm. So this is where um, uh, troops came to to get their initial training prior to go to various theatres of war. In 1947, this became surplus to military requirements. And at that stage, it was turned into what would become Australia's largest and longest running migrant reception and training centre. So people who came here, they would come by, uh, initially it was come by ship, and they would come in from Mantle, Adelaide, Melbourne. Mm -hmm. So Melbourne, people would disembark and come uh, up here, Red Rattler, and um, they would, uh, this is a spur line that went to Kajiwa. There were uh, 850 buildings um, in this, on the whole site, um, uh, something like 650 acres, um, and the majority of it was on the other side of the road where Latchford Barracks is today. Uh, the only bit that's remaining, the 24 buildings that remain, are here in Block 19. So what you see out there yeah. is 1940 vintage, and it is um, they're the, the remaining buildings. So this is where they used to come and shower so you got all the sinks to brush your teeth Paula's loving it she actually gets to go around here here's some different things that they oh there's a bum <laughs> there's a bum in the photo anyway and then these are the showers and as you can see so they've got the the water wouldn't flow over and then the taps were actually oh here we go the taps were here yeah. And then look at the shower head. Just a bit different. Uh, yeah, up there. And then they had one bath. And then on the other side, oh, here's all the uh, clothing. Someone's just left their clothing here. <laughs> and then on the other side, you had all the toilets, which pretty much just look like at our local caravan park. So yeah. So this wall here, now if you come into this place, you can actually ask them to find your relative, your grandparents, they'll help you look it up. They were so helpful. Adam had a go at trying to find his grandparents. And um, if you do, then you have a choice. They do offer a service where you can buy a plaque and have it put on here in memory of them. So that's what this wall is. How cool is that? Do you like a dance, Adam? Well, they, had, they had billiard uh, pool tables here as well, indoor bowls, oh. darts. Yeah. Okay, Adam's going to have a go at this game. They used to play it in the hall. It's called Shilts. It might give you the, Sh you know what? <laughs> go. It's really so tight. It's a really tight. You have thing. to slide it down. Obviously, your hand can't go any further than this. Oh, Into, so and you probably have to get all four in, yeah? Ooh, no, 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 no. okay. Oh, do you get? Maybe, maybe we'll move. I don't know the rules, but we'll. I'm assuming we can take it out. We can, um, yeah. Oh, oh well, you hit one in. Maybe you're allowed to do that. Three. Three. So we're gonna have. Um, I'm gonna have my go, and we just found out you only get three shots. So here we go. Oh.
first opened, these were all just one large big room and everyone would have to share it. There was no privacy. Then later on, they built walls. If you're lucky enough to have this room for a family, it actually had two rooms and a door and we'll go in there and have a look now. So yeah, this is your family room. Hey, Adam. And then, oh, Adam doesn't to let you talk. Anyway, and then we'll come out this side and we'll go check out the next room. This is a single room, so that might be just a family with one child, but that's it, just that little room. Now we're heading into one of the big halls. It's so big on the outside. It goes all the way there, all the way down there. There's also a lot of kangaroos, as you can see. They're all looking at Twilight going, what are you doing? So, a couple, just there, little baby one, having an itch. Heading into the kitchen. I hope this doesn't make me feel hungry because I'm starting to get a bit hungry. These fridges are huge. Look at these big fridge doors. And the kitchens. Big sinks. And I tell you, I've had a few Italian dinners in my time, but I don't think I've seen a pot this big before. Woo! Could make a nice uh, pasta sauce in that one, Adam. That's what we need. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we could make really good um, pasta sauce with that, actually. We just got to bring our bottles down and... That'd be a year's worth of sauce in that. Yeah. How cool is this? This is one big kitchen. <laughs> and what... Do you remember what they said? How many people... There was one of these per every... Like, block. On every block, there was one of these kitchens. And then they obviously came in here and cooked... As yeah. a group, one big group. But I think this whole, this this block of like 20 buildings or something housed like 700 people. 700, yeah. Like yeah, so that's yeah. why you need a kitchen this big. Mm. Anyway, I'm getting hungry, Adam. We're just uh, checking out the menu. Uh, what's today's today? Uh, we're here, it's Sunday. Sunday. So, so it's brekkie porridge. Bread and butter with jam, coffee, mm. lamb's fry. Not bad at all. I don't know about the lamb's fry. And, and uh, lunch. lunch. Oh. Minced loaf gravy, macaroni and vegetables, chocolate pudding. Oh, Adam, you found your place to have lunch. Mm. Anything with chocolate in it, of course. The meals room. I mean, sorry, off the kitchen you've got the meals room. So this would have been where they all ate. There's a few tables in here still. <laughs> and... Um, what have you found now, Adam? Ah, this room's set up. All right, let's go have a look. Oh, yep, they're ready for us. They're waiting for us. Here we go. Let's eat. Mangiare. Provide temporary accommodation until the newcomers were found jobs. What did you do all day? I had to check that all the huts were kept clean and tidy and functional. Looking. But all else, I think I was happy because my parents liked me here. They never spoke to me about the war years.
All right, now, if you do come and check this place out, make sure you definitely watch those three last videos you would have saw a little glimpse of. They tell a great story, Adam. So yes, yeah, so they're in the recreational hall. This is where the mig or the people who have migrated here uh, spend their time throughout, you know, basically to enjoy themselves. Um, but yeah, the video showed three people's perspectives of whom of who was here. There was a worker, uh, not like a caretaker, but um, an official official person yeah. who, uh, who oversaw the the the. Um, I guess the, the the place, making sure everything ran smoothly. There was a young girl who grew up here, and there was also a young man who ended up being part of the riot as well when they um, basically rioting because they were bored and they wanted work. Yeah, so the story is fantastic, and then it all ties into this sculpture here. So definitely check that out if you come here. We're about to leave. We've really enjoyed our time here, so definitely check it out if you're around. Yeah, it's definitely something which we never knew about, but you've got a greater appreciation for, uh, I think, migration to the country, people who have came here. You know, just getting here on a ship was five weeks. Getting on a plane was five days. Yeah. And obviously the conditions were not as good as what we have these days either. So For what they were selling Australia to be, yeah. uh, and then when they got here, were two different things. But anyway, come here, find out for yourself. So, Adam, we've been everywhere looking for a bakery that's open. Yeah, we couldn't really find anything. So we've ended up at the Plowman's Cafe, which is near the, I think it's the Art Centre. The Center. Library and Art Art Centre and Theatre. Now, this is where we came yesterday. Nothing was open. Um, but, good news, it is open today. So we're hoping to go in there after we have something just light to eat. We're just going to have a... Yeah. A little, what are you, what yeah, you a bit of brunch. Oh, a, bit of brunch. A, coffee, a coffee and a surprise. Coffee and a surprise. He hasn't told yeah. me what he's ordered. Yeah. So, you say, even though Adam's It's not on the menu. But that's the actual. <laughs> what I got yeah, here. No, okay. <laughs> but that's the actual place we're at now. Yeah. So, anyway, we'll just wait for our food and grab our coffee. It's, um, it's well, considering that we didn't get to go to a bakery, this might be the next best thing anyway. What did you end up getting? So I've got a uh, strawberry pistachio pastry. Yep. And Dean, I've got you a cheese scroll. So he knows my taste. I let him surprise me. And this looks like something I'd make for one of our parties. Mm. How awesome does that look? Plus, I've got the last one of these. Yeah, last one of both? Uh, no, no, there's so, a whole tray of them. Uh, okay. Oh, well, but the, I was my right. one, there was only one. Yeah, so, yeah. Mm. Oh, well, bon appetit. We'll come back and see what you think of it after you've eaten it. Yum. That's massive. Mmm. What's it like? Mm -hmm. Good? Mm. So now that we had something to eat, now I'm going to head into the Wodonga Library and Gallery. So let's go in and check it out.
that's it for another week. Thanks, guys, for watching. Now, make sure you stay tuned on a Wednesday for our midweek episode. It comes out at 3 o'clock, so you can check that out if you're missing us during the week. Otherwise, stay tuned every Sunday, 5 p.m. You know the drill. We'll be there. And um, make sure, if you're new to the channel, to like and subscribe so you can catch up with us every week also. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next Sunday. Stay safe and have a good week. Ciao, guys. Thank you.